Hey guys, today we're gonna see how we can use Python to get the data from Twitter API. We'll see how to make an account on the Twitter developer website, how to fetch the data, and how to save it into a CSV file. To get the data from the Twitter API, we first should make a developer account. So we head to the developer.twitter.com website. First, you should make sure that you are logged in to your Twitter account. And then over here, hit the sign up button. Here we confirm that this is our Twitter account and this is our email address. Then we'll give our name. And then for the country, I'm from the Netherlands, so I choose it. Then Twitter wants to know why we want to have access to this API. So I'm teaching it on this channel, so I choose as a teacher. I'm not gonna give the data to any government, so I'll choose also no here. I don't want any updates and we hit next. These are the agreement terms for using the Twitter API. You can read it and agree with them, then hit the submit. And now we have access to the developer account. Then we should make an app and get the keys of the app. So we can use the keys to have access to the Twitter API. So you choose a name for your app, then hit the get keys button. Then here are the keys of the app. So we have an API key and an API key secret and a token that we'll use later to get access to the Twitter API. So we have to keep the keys as a secret because if you lose them, you won't have access to them anymore. And if somebody else gets access to these keys, they can just connect to your Twitter account and do whatever they want. If you lose the keys, you can just regenerate new ones, so don't worry about it. Then we can click to skip to dashboard. After this, we have to get access to access token and secret keys. So down here, we generate them. Now we have an access token and access token secret. Go ahead and save them somewhere because we're gonna use them later on. So over here in the project, we see that there are two tabs, one for the settings and then we have one for keys and tokens. Now we have the keys, head over to the settings tab. And down here, we have to give the read and write permission to our app. So now the settings of the app are all set. But if we go here to this project tab, we see the access of our project is essential. So we only have access to some basic features of the API. And to have a better access, like getting the data from the API, we need an elevated access. So we have to apply for an elevated account. So that's why we hit apply for elevated. Again, we check uh, the information of the account that everything is fine. Over here, make sure uh, that you are applying for an individual developer account. And down here, it's, uh, there is again some information we should fill in. Then we hit next. Then we have to tell Twitter why we want to have access to this elevated account. So normally there are some information that they ask us, like why do we want this access? How are we going to use the data and so on? So we just need to fill in the information and be a bit mindful because this information will be checked by a real person. So first Twitter wants to know why we want to use the Twitter data. Then we should say how we will analyze the data if we want to do so. So when you are done, hit next. And over here, you can review all the information of your application. Then again, you can see all of the answers you gave. And then we can just hit next. Again, we agree with the terms of Twitter and submit our application. Now, it can take several days for the application to get accepted. And when it did, we can do the cool stuff. To get access to the Twitter API, we can use a Python library called TweePy. So if you can just search TweePy in Google, and that's the first result. 
And if we go to documentation, you can see how to install this pipe library and how to use it. And that's what we will do. Now the first step is we want some libraries, so we go ahead and install them. So we make a new terminal. Of course, the first one is the TwiPy library, so we do pip install TwiPy. Well, I already have the library, so nothing happens over here. Again, the next one is pip install config parser. Uh, we will use this one to grab the information, the secret keys from a config file. So it's more safer when you are sharing your file with others, you don't have to share your API key. And the last one is we install pip install pandas. We want the pandas to later on save the data into CSV file. Again, I have this library and nothing happens. Okay, now we have every library that we need. And then we make a, a config file. So the reason I make a config file is that you can put all the information of your accounts over here, like the API key, API key secret, and so on. So this way, when you are sharing your main Python file with the others, you don't have to give all of the information of your app. So that's much more safe. So I call this Twitter, inside the config. And then what I do, I copy paste all of the information, API key, API key secrets, and my access token, and access token secret. So we go ahead, you can go ahead and uh, copy this information from the app. So now I copied all of the information over here, and we just save this file. Then I make a Python call, call it Twitter API.py. So we need to import Twipy and config parser. So now the first step is we need to read all of the credentials from the config file. To do so, we first make a config parser instance. So config equal to config parser. That's config parser. And then we read the file, which is config.ini. So now we have the file. We need to extract all of the information we want. So API key is equal to config twitter and then it is called api key api key secret API key secret again. <clears throat> and then also the access tokens. And last the access token secrets. So now, for example, if we here print API key, see, for example, that's the value of API key we have it over here. Okay, so now we have all the credentials over here. The next step is we need to authenticate our account or app to the Twitter API. <clears throat> so to do so, we need to do authentication. For that, I make from the TwiPy library, we make an authentication handler. 
and we give our API key and API key secret over here. And then we also need to give our to access tokens. So with the authentication set access token, and then we give them over here, access token and access token secret. The next step that we should do, we need to make an uh, API instance. So we make a tweepy equal to API equal to tweepy dot API. And we give the authentication over here to authenticate our app. So now we have an API instance and we can use this to have access to our Twitter account. For example, you can use it to tweet or uh, delete a tweet and so on. What we are going to do, we will use it to get our public tweets. So if you go to your Twitter account, see, so for example, this is my Twitter account. These are all the public tweets that are in my home line. So we can use the API to have access to all of these tweets. So to do so, we write public tweets equal to api.homeline. So this way we have access to all of the tweets on our homeline. To, if we just do print public tweets. So what we see over here is a JSON file with all the information for the tweets. So for example, if you want to see the first tweet, you can just put the text over here. And this way we see the text of the first tweet. And uh, if we want to see all of the tweets, we can just do the for loop for for every tweet in public tweets, we can print the text. So if we run it, we can see all of the tweets over there. Why? Oh, spelled print Okay, and these are all the tweets that we have. And that's how we can get the, our tweets from the Twitter API. So what we do next, we will save this data into a CSV file using pandas. So what we did so far, we got access to our app using the TweetPy library. And now we have access to all the tweets in our home line. Next, we will use this data and save them into a CSV file so we can do whatever you like with them later on. If I just comment this file. So for example, if we just look at the first tweet, public tweets, we can see the time that it's been tweeted with created at. So we see the tweet time over here, or for example, we can see the text as we did before. And we can also see who tweeted this one. So if we use user.screen name, we see who tweeted this one which is, for example, this is Kurze Khas. And so what we do next, we use this information. We see at what time is being a tweet has been sent, by who, and what's the tweet itself. And we make a CSV file using this information. So what I'll do, first I will import pandas because that's how we will save the data as PD. And I put the name of the columns that I will use later on, which are the time of the tweet, the user that sent the tweet out, and the tweet itself. So these are the columns of our data frame later on. And I make the data as a list. So next, again, we look for our tweets. And then for each tweet, we append them to our list. 
we append our tweet created at who tweeted this and lastly what is the tweet itself so now for example if we just print our data we have a list of all of this information so this is our list and next we simply convert this this into a data frame using pandas that's our data and the name of the columns are the one we just defined time user and tweet and then if we print this data frame so this is our data frame now we have the time of each tweet the user that tweeted this and the tweet itself now the last step is just saving this data frame into a csv file and we can easily do it by df to csv and we put the name as tweets.csv and that's it so now we have a csv file if we click we have all the information the time user and tweet and every information for each tweet and yeah so that's how you can get access to twitter api using tweetpy uh, fetch uh, the tweets in your timeline and save it into a csv file hope to see you in the next video